Welcome to the Healthy Skin Show with Jennifer Fugo, where we're flipping everything you've been told about your chronic skin issues upside down and connecting you with alternative solutions your dermatologist never told you about. Welcome back to episode number 191 of the Healthy Skin Show. Today's episode is going to be all about no moisture therapy. And if you haven't heard of this before, it may be because either you just haven't heard of it or you aren't going through something called topical steroid withdrawal, which for those of you who have listened to a lot of episodes on this show, you've probably heard about when essentially your body gets really, really, really addicted to topical steroids and it basically goes haywire, freaking out, and you end up in this living hell. I don't know how else to describe it for an extensive period of time that really just depends on a number of factors. For some people, it can be a few short months. For other people, it can be years. And so no moisture therapy is one option that some of my clients opt for. Now, do I necessarily recommend this? I recommend parts of it. And I want to be very clear about that because there are some pieces to NMT that I think for people doing on their own, I think are kind of dangerous to do. So I do not recommend them even to clients who are working with me. So we're going to have a personal story of someone who's going through this shared on the show today. But first, I wanted to make sure that you understood what this was about. That way, if it's something you're interested in, you have the opportunity to do more research. So no moisture therapy was created by Dr. Kenji Sato of Japan. There are protocols written up from him online that you can search for and find. And the general gist is that you avoid steroids and you also avoid moisture in every aspect possible. So not just what you would apply to your skin. So no moisturizers used, no oils, no salves, no balms, no nothing applied to your skin, literally, but also restricting the amount of liquid or fluids and water essentially that you consume. Now, there are parts to this that I do think can be helpful, and I have seen them in clinical practice be helpful for some clients. That said, I do not recommend anyone follow the dietary and fluid restriction because unless you are under the care of a physician in basically an inpatient facility or in the hospital, it is very easy to become dehydrated and cause a whole slew of other health problems that will cause you potentially to become hospitalized. I have seen in clinical practice with several clients that NMT can be helpful while they are going through TSW. But I do not recommend restricting fluids through your water intake, through your food intake, and managing that in the way that it is described in the protocol. Because I feel that even if you're working with a clinical nutritionist like myself or a dietitian or a functional practitioner, that it is just absolutely too risky to do that piece of this protocol. And another thing that you should know before being like, oh my gosh, Jen's talking about this, I should maybe give this a shot, is to really listen to my guest today. He has chosen to go through his TSW journey using no moisture therapy. That said, there have been some aspects of his life, which he will discuss, that have really been compromised. So you should take some time to make the decision if doing any piece of NMT is right for you. I recognize that TSW, frankly, steals away your life. So this might not feel like you're really giving that much else up. But as with everything, it is for you to do the research, look at the pros and cons, and make the decision of what's best for you. My guest today is Han Boyol Cheng, and I actually came across him on TikTok. He has a huge following over there, 
And he just basically described himself as another resident on this little blue and green ball flying through space. His goal is to spread awareness about topical steroid withdrawal and how to prevent others from suffering in the future. He is 14 months into topical steroid withdrawal and eight months into no moisture therapy. Without further ado, let's dive into today's conversation. Thank you so much, Han, for being here. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so I wanted to kick things off with you sharing your story, because I think that for people to really understand where you are now, they need to know what came a little bit before that. So what were you struggling with before you ended up in topical steroid withdrawal land? What exactly was going on with your skin before that? Um, So... I have a a history, a family history of not so great skin, um, mostly on my dad's side of the family. And when I was a kid, um, I had uh, Kawasaki disease and um, I'm glad we were able to figure that out. But shortly after that, I developed um, what was diagnosed as eczema. And so from my childhood to basically last year, um, I was on and off using steroid creams and ointments um, topically to mitigate those eczema symptoms. And it wasn't really until this past year that I finally really looked into it and questioned, you know, what was going on because um, I had heard that there were people that were able to cure their eczema um, through means of dieting, uh, exercise, what have you. And so mm-hmm. I, I wanted to explore those methods because I was tired of spending hours a day um, showering, moisturizing, applying all these steroids. It was it was just like, there's no way I, get, I have to do this for the rest of my life. And at the same time, this year, I started to notice that the current strength um, dosage was not working anymore. And so the eczema... Um, I would apply steroids topically, but nothing was happening. And so um, that was the route that, um, that that's basically how I got to the TSW um, journey, which started last September. Yeah. And when you ended up, I guess, unfortunately, in this state of TSW, what did you... Like, what was that experience like for you in this moment of realizing that this wasn't, this wasn't just like an eczema anymore. This is sort of uh, something entirely different. I, I felt, um, I felt really disappointed. I felt like betrayed almost Mm -hmm. Um, because, you know, I had seen doctor after doctor after doctor, I mean, tens of dermatologists and, um, you know, I like to believe that I can trust doctors, you know, that they have it, their best interest is for me to, you know, have good health. And um, I want to, I, I, yeah, it's basically just that I didn't realize how much I didn't know. Um, mm-hmm. And so that was kind of not only just the beginning of my journey of um, finding out more about you know, my skin and and human skin and and how, you know, we can treat these uh, issues that we develop, but also just worldly matters. Like I need to question everything that I was taught as a, as a child, as, as I was conditioned, like what, you know, like, why do we do what we do? And um, so it's really been a humbling experience, but at the same time, it did start from a kind of dark place. Um, Yeah. 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 And then, so the way I found you, and I think it's fair and would be interesting to the listeners to know, the way I found you was basically, I was on TikTok and I stumbled across the video that you had put up about what a, like your day (laughs) was like, um, being not just in the state of TSW, but going through this process called no moisture therapy. And I've had some clients that are interested in considering this who realized where we were like, you know what, maybe this isn't just eczema anymore. Like maybe a flip, the switch, excuse me, has been flipped Mm -hmm. and we've got some additional issues going on that require attention. And so 
For those who are not familiar with this whole, <laughs> it, it is, by the way, um, it is a, it's not something to, to consider lightly and, and I think dive into lightly. It can be, it can really positively impact your life, but um, it is, it is a big deal. Uh, so for those of you who might not know, it's no moisture therapy method. Uh, you might see it written online NMT for short. And it was actually this protocol, I, I suppose you would call it, was developed by Dr. Kenji Sato in Japan. The whole idea that if you do it really um, very strictly, that you should see a substantial improvement in three months turnaround time. Now, I would say that that might not be realistic for everyone, just looking, you know, everybody's different on a case-by-case -case basis. But I would love to know, how did you stumble across the idea of no moisture therapy and what made you decide to give it a try? Um, so at first, I just, I just want to definitely say that this is, of course, as you said, my journey, and I don't want anyone to mm -hmm. think that like, you know, my journey is going to be like anyone else's because th this therapy specific, this treatment protocol specifically is very, um, it's based on the individual. But um, to answer your question, so I started off with the celery juice cleanse, the crazy celery juice cleanse. And um, that led me into a diet of um, whole foods, plant-based. And then I also tried veganism. And um, then I went into this, um, I tried uh, keto and um, mm. basically uh, my whole first six months of TSW was me just trying a whole bunch of stuff. And um, looking back on it, I could have probably slowed down a little bit because I was doing way too many things at once. Um, but from the beginning, I was always part of uh, Facebook groups and just online forums. And um, NMT was one of the uh, methods of treatment that was always talked about, but people didn't really promote it that much. And I was always curious about it. Um, and it wasn't for whatever reason, I didn't really look into it until like about the six month mark, because that was when I was realizing that. So I had gotten really bad and then I started to get good again, about six months, uh, about three months. And then, um, I started to get bad again. And towards the six month mark, I was like, okay, let me do some research again. And so NMT came to my lab once again, and uh, I just researched the heck out of it. And um, to me, I, you know, I really trust my intuition. I really go with the gut feeling. Um, and to me, this was, this was just that it was no, uh, nothing is required for you to purchase. It's just read this protocol and do your best to follow it. And that's basically it. In time, you'll heal. And that's it. No, you know, funky medicine or special foods or anything like that. Just, just do you. Um, and uh, it's really, really been um, uh, an arduous journey. And um, mm -hmm. I, it's been a really humbling experience. But um, yeah, um, just to yeah, answer your question, that's, that's how I got. Yeah. 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 I, and I would say too, we were saying before we even started recording that it's it's not so for those of you if you haven't yet looked this up if this is something that you're interested in looking it up you can easily find photos of what people look like as well because it is something where you may not yeah. be able to go to work um it is it, it some people will acknowledge like they look pretty awful um, going through this process. Um, so you had to really want to do this. Yeah. Um, it also is very strict in some of the things that it, uh, some of the things in this protocol, like really strict. Um, and so the whole concept of no moisture therapy is that essentially you're not applying moisturizers and you're not consuming an excess amount of fluids, et cetera, that, and showering and bathing, like you're really limiting the amount of moisture that your body on multiple fronts is exposed to. Um, you have to go through the complete avoidance of steroids. And typically there's also the recommendation to avoid any products with licorice in them. Uh, licorice is an adaptogen that can help stimulate the adrenal glands. Cause the, the whole idea here is that you're, you guys know, we've talked about this a lot. And if you're not familiar with TSW, I encourage you to go back and listen to some of our other episodes on it. So just so you can better familiarize yourself, but that um, 
the adrenal glands have trouble realizing they've got to they've got to put out cortisol because you've been applying cortisol through topical steroids. So they're like, well, somebody else took over my job. Yeah. I'm just going to like <laughs> peace out. And so this whole process of TSW to some degree, which some of you probably heard in um, Dr. Heather Zwicky's discussion on this is like the body reorienting itself, the immune system reorienting itself and it takes time um, and it can be very uncomfortable. So so, so Han, in the process of going, yeah, I think I want to do this. Like, what has it been like um, doing no moisture therapy? Like, what were some things um, that, what's like your, your regular day like? Maybe some things that people who haven't gone through this don't, don't realize if they're just reading about it online. Yeah, um, I'd love to share. Um, and again, uh, what, what I go through is, is definitely going to be different than you know, others. Um, I would have to say... Um, this experience has been probably the most um, tolling uh, on my physical and mental health. Um, I've never experienced any, I, I've basically, simply put, I've never experienced something so hard in my life um, as NMT. Um, and uh, I, I do plan to uh, show uh, what, what I did go through um, with pictures and all um, through uh, whatever platform I, I do choose to, um, to really show um, what I went through. But basically in the first uh, month, and, and I guess I can just reiterate that the, um, the 90 days, right, is what everyone like is always looking out yeah. for. That's the, that's the initial, like, let me get just through these 90 days and then see if I want to continue with this or not. Um, but those 90 days are rough, man. Um, so when I first started, uh, you have to realize that I was, you know, moisturizing every single day for, I, I don't even remember how far back, probably like elementary, middle school days. And to just stop all moisturization in one, one day, um, it was a lot on my body and, uh, I got super, super dry. Um, and, uh, that also, you know, made it hard for me to sleep. It made it hard for me to, to, to think, to, to eat. Um, in the beginning, um, it was especially rough on my, uh, my neck and behind my knees. Um, around the three, four month mark, um, before the 90 days hit, um, I thought I was getting better, but you know, it's just, you know, your skin, it just, it can turn around in a night and a week. And, um, basically I was, I was exercising, I was following the protocol, I was doing great, I was getting better, you know, my skin was clearing up from being super dry. And then all of a sudden, I couldn't extend my legs. Um, and my entire neck, the entire front of my neck was just scabs. Um, and, you know, with TSW, it's the itch that's the hardest to um, endure. And with no moisture, the whole idea is, it's okay to scratch. Because when you you know you scratch and then you blame yourself and you, you know it's like it's like you, you have to realize like we don't even have any you know anything out there to mitigate this um this itch we don't even know why we get itchy i mean i i, I do know about some theories but um yeah so i would constantly scratch not just the skin but the scabs and you know mm -hmm. you scratch the scabs and then you bleed and then they form again and then a couple hours later, you scratch them off again. You, you know, it's like, I'm not intending to, but like, that's just how itchy it gets. Um, and so, yeah, so uh, my neck scabbed up. So that was, in, I was in a constant state of pain there. And also I couldn't extend my legs. So I basically just couldn't walk um, from about this two and a half month mark to about the four month mark. Um, so let me, oh yeah, so, so I was basically sitting in a chair like in a rolling chair it's kind of funny i was just in a rolling chair back and forth um for that whole time um my parents apartment but also it was in my arms too eventually so it, it was really hard to um do things by myself so i'm really grateful that i had uh, my girlfriend and my parents to help me um because uh you know realistically speaking jen i i couldn't even go to the bathroom by myself 
Um, that was a real issue. And, uh, you know, I think my, I am so grateful that I have these people in my life to help me go when I need to go. Um, but that was a, that was a serious issue too. Um, but you know, it just gets better with time. And, uh, I, I, there's just so much, I guess that I experienced, but, uh, basically the way that I went about my days in those earlier stages was kind of just, just doing whatever I could, you know, um, like just getting out of bed for me was like good enough for some days, you know? Um, and, uh, I was getting fed a lot because I, I couldn't, um, extend my arms and I couldn't bend them forward in too much. So they're kind of fixed at these like 90 degree angles. So it was hard to like eat. So I had to get fed sometimes. Um, the things we take for granted. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's you know? quite, it's quite, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's quite yeah. amazing. Can I ask, is there anything, if you were to talk to somebody who was in, who realizes that they're in the midst of TSW, right? So they've had a lot of exposure to topical steroids and maybe other, other forms of steroids and they're in this boat is, and they're considering this. Yeah. Is there anything that you wish, like if you could go back now and tell yourself something yeah. <laughs> at the beginning, yeah, 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 yeah. is there anything that you would say to that person? Cause obviously everybody's journey is different and I think everyone has the right to choose their own journey. So it's, we're not going to tell you guys whether to or not to do this. Yeah. Cause that's not fair. It's your journey. But what do you wish you could have told yourself if you could go back to the beginning before you, you started, what would you say? Um, for specifically NMT, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, I would say, Han, take your time. Um, it's like, you know, with TSW, everyone just wants to get out of it. And I get it. I get, I so get that. You know, we don't want to be in this state. Nobody wants to be in this state. Um, but with NMT especially, it's, you have to realize that the people that are saying that, you know, they're healing in three months or in, in, in less time, um, a lot of those cases, they're coming from Dr. Sato in Japan, you know, they're being monitored or I'm not, I don't, you know, let me, let me rephrase that. I don't know that a lot of them are, but I do know that the patients that are being seen by Dr. Sato are being, you know, monitored 24 seven and they're being taken mm -hmm. care of by nurses and doctors all the time. So, um, that's much different than me at home in New Jersey with my parents, um, you know, just trying to do this thing. So, um, the biggest thing, I, the biggest misconception with NMT, I think, is that um, people think you're just not allowed to drink water, but that's not the case. The, the case is, as you mentioned before, which is that you want to restrict it as much as you can. Um, and so I made the mistake in the very beginning of, of really going to, I used to drink like two to four liters of water a day easily. And in like one day, I just went down to one liter max, but also like mm -hmm. taking the, into account, you know, like the food, the water content and food, like that's yep. a no, no, that's a no, no. Um, so especially because you're not going to be monitored with a, by a doctor at, you know, at all times, unless you're going to see Dr. Sato, I would say just ease into it and, you know, mm -hmm. you, you'll get there in time. It really, you know, it just takes time. Yeah, it, it does. And I think the other thing too, to keep in mind is that, regardless of where you are in your journey and what choice one makes, right? Whether they do no moisture therapy or they, you know, soldier through TSW in the various ways. I, I work with a lot of clients um, who also uh, ha em employ on their team someone that is a TCM dermatologist. Like I've talked to Dr. Olivia Friedman. Some of you might remember about this. And so having some other people on your team can also be helpful to make sure that from a nutrient perspective, you're okay. And if you feel like you're not doing well, seek medical attention, yeah. right? Cause like you're saying, it's hard for you to know if say your, you know, your, your protein is too low or your salt gets too low yeah. or too high or whatever. Um, we just want to make sure that everyone is doing things in a safe way and have a discussion with your doctor. They might not agree with you, but you can ask them to still support you in the process and make sure that you're doing all right. Um, 
I, I wanted to ask you too, because uh, for those of you who are going through this uh, TSW, or even if you're just in a bad place with your rashes right now, and um, I, I know, Han, you're on a bunch of different social media platforms, but I just especially I've come to love and appreciate your the videos you shared on TikTok. Um, the one thing that I was saying to you before we started was just I I actually have so much gratitude for the level of positivity given your circumstance um because you you know you show some videos where you're you're it's just physically you can see like your skin is just not you it's not where you want it to be mm-hmm. <laughs> and it, and you look like you're in a lot of pain and um thank god for your mother and your father and all of these <laughs> people in your life who are helping you but you're positive and and sometimes you just come on and you say, I just wanted to, rem-, you know, something like, I just want to remind you that I love you, you know, like, I wish you a good day. How do you stay positive when you're in a lot of pain and when physically you might feel very limited as you go through your journey, whatever it may be with your skin? Um, that's a great question. It's something that I continue to struggle with on a daily basis. Um, I want to definitely, I definitely want to say that with the level of positivity I do bring with the social media, um, I do constantly struggle with the itching and the pain. Um, But for me, positivity is, um, I mean, your, your mind is so powerful And the thoughts that you have and the words that you speak, um, they really, they really make a difference. They really impact not only yourself, but those people around you. And um, it's easy to complain. It's easy to be negative, but it's hard to stay positive in the midst of adversity and and struggle and and anguish. And um, I just, I think the biggest thing for me is Um, I have these support systems in my life who help to remind me, hey, Han, like that itch, you know, it's passing. It's passing right now. And you know what? You you got through it last time. You're going to get through it this time. Remember when, you know, you just, you were just itchy, but then you were fine. You know, you're going to get through it right now. And um, it's just that like reminder of Han, you've already been through so much. Like the greatest gift I have from doing NMT is that, even though I continue to cycle through, um, you know, these flare-ups and whatnot, every cycle is shorter and my skin is getting stronger and stronger by the day. I will never, I mean, you know, never say never, but I will not, I refuse to be unable to walk again. Unless, even if someone blows off my legs, I'll, I'll get new legs. You know, I like, it's just <laughs> like, I, 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 I refuse to, to accept that. And so um, that as well as accepting my my situation, um, I'm I'm not going to be in denial and and you know and, and pretend like you know this isn't my uh, situation of being in TSW and being hurt and being in pain. Like, let me accept it and just go through my day and just do what I can because I think everyone deserves to live their best life and and whatever you get to do you know in a day is what you get to do and um, I'm I'm just grateful to to be alive right now. <laughs> you know? Mm. Yeah. That's so powerful. And so much online, you know, we see a lot of like the compare and despair, you yeah. know, like, Oh, I, but she gets to do this or he's doing that. And that's not fair, but you're right. Like focusing on the small things that we get to do, that we get to experience to be fully present to what's in front of you. That's a really powerful reminder. Yeah really is. Wow. Um, out of curiosity, because I know that, um, you know, you've got a, a, a we'll, we'll share the link. It'll, cause it's a little tricky for me to say, cause some of you won't, if you're listening to this, you're not gonna, you're going to go, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> <laughs> to connect with Han? Um, but he has a link. We'll put it in the show notes of all the different social media platforms and some of the different things that he supports or is sharing with the world um, and trying to get awareness out about um within this, for those of you who know, it's a link tree link, but you guys who don't know what that is, don't worry. I'll put the link in the show notes for you. So it's easy (laughs) to find. Um, is there, is there 
any final words um, that you would love to share with someone um, if they're, you know, if they're like, is NMT right for me? Um, what, what would you say to someone who's thinking about it? Um, I would say, I would say, you know, do as much research as you can, uh, not, not just with this, but with anything that you're about to, uh, partake in, um, especially with your body. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, do as much research as you can and, um, um, give it a shot. Um, I, 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 I ultimately what it came down to for me was I have nothing to lose. Like I had nothing to lose. So I was like, all right, 90 days, let's see what happens. And, uh, you know, in the middle of those 90 or after those 90 days were over, I couldn't walk, but I noticed that my skin was getting stronger. So I continued and here I am eight months later. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, I think that those are wise words. And I, I actually very much appreciate the fact that you have repeated reminders to people too, that this is your journey yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and not, maybe not theirs. Yeah. And, 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 and that's an important thing too, right? Because for those of you listening, you know, that it's not for me to decide what's best for you. You're in, you're the CEO. Yeah of your health yeah. and you've got to make decisions for yourself that are the right decisions for you, whether it's medication or it's supplements or it's food, or it's a combination of all the above or something else that is entirely personal and it's ultimately up to you. And I think it's incredibly important to always ask questions and go in with your eyes wide open instead of just looking at before and after photos. Yeah. Because there's a lot of before and after photos that people don't share that don't show positive results. And we don't see those. So do your research. And and I think too, if you're looking to if you're looking for someone who can offer some light um, and you just are really curious to check out more of what's going on behind the scenes, especially someone who's going through NMT, I would really encourage each and every one of you to connect with Han <laughs> because he is like I said, I mean, out of, out of, I don't follow a ton of people on TikTok. I really only follow people that I'm interested in following. And I find your, you know, and I've never, I've never personally been through TSW. I have clients who are, who are going through it. Um, I've obviously never been through NMT. I've seen photos of it. Um, and so it was really inspiring and eye-opening to see what you go through. Um, and I deeply appreciate your vulnerability and your generosity in sharing your journey with everyone, not just here, but everything else that you do, because stories are really what connect us. And they're just so incredibly powerful. And um, I just am, I'm, I'm really appreciative, Han, that you took the time today to join us. And thank you, Jen, for constantly spreading awareness. Um, it is so important what you're doing. Um, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. I have such deep appreciation for Han Boyol for coming on the show and sharing his story. It was incredibly brave of him, to be honest with you. Um, everything that he's done, like when I watch him and his videos on TikTok, I was just like, wow, I am so humbled in this moment to see what he is going through. And he so bravely and authentically shares his journey. So if you have been curious about NMT, I highly encourage you to go check out his TikTok videos. All of his links and everything that we discussed in this episode can be found over at skinterrupt.com forward slash 191. And that's the perfect spot. If you've got any questions or comments or thoughts that you'd like to share, leave them there. That way we can keep the conversation going. And remember, this episode is not necessarily me recommending or endorsing NMT. If anything, it's just to say, hey, there's this option you might not have heard of, and maybe some aspect of it might be helpful for you. And so as always, before you make any significant changes to what you're doing right now, do your research, think about the pros and cons, weigh them out, and then discuss this with your practitioner team. That way you can make the best decision 
for yourself. And take a moment then to share this episode with people that you think might find this either helpful or eye-opening and that it might provide them with another way to go, especially if they are dealing with TSW and they're really not sure what could potentially be helpful on their journey or they've been considering doing NMT and they'd like to hear a first person account of what it's like to actually go through this. And if you haven't done so yet, take a moment, head on over to that podcast platform of choice that you stream the show on so that you can rate and review the show and then make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the tips, hope, inspiration, and research that's shared here every single week. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.